So it's normal for people to share their stories of success, particularly when someone has a certain stage, a certain reputation, uh, like I do in the embodiment world, you often hear like all the things they did right. And when you're learning, you look at that and go, well, how can I possibly uh, do that? How can I possibly um, do everything right? Of course they haven't. This is absolute nonsense, PR job. Um, you know, people like to present like their life was one long stories of successes, um, or they'll present a failure, but it won't really be a failure. It'll be something they've heroically overcome, you know, the traditional TED talk. Now I'm in such a good place. Um, what a load of bollocks. So um, I wanted to spend a little few minutes on today's video sharing um, my failure stories. Uh, I could look at some of the learning from those, of course. And um, yeah, I just thought it was kind of refreshing. So um, where to start? Oh my God. So early days of teaching embodiment. Um, one of my first clients was the National Health Service, one of the, um, I won't say which exact department, but one in Brighton, and I did a training for them, and it was so bad that they didn't get me back. For the second one they booked, they actually cancelled the second one. Um, this is one of my second client, I think. Luckily, my first client went pretty well and rebooked me. Um, but, you know, that really knocks my confidence. I remember at the time, thinking, God, am I, am I okay to do this? Am I blagging it? I forget the exact mistakes I made there, actually, but uh, it's probably using the wrong language, not contracting well enough. Uh, there was another time with a local council organisation with one of my early clients who um, uh, I kind of contracted with one person who was a big fan but not really did something of service to everyone, just to her. That's that's a mistake you can make in this in this field. Um, and again, you know, pretty criti heavy criticism from certain sections of that group. Although you know, the job itself went okay. Um, in body facilitator course, this is our sort of big train the trainer course. Uh, people leave every year and are they failures necessarily you know we might have um, done our best with them they might have um, left anyway or maybe you know one person left this year and said actually I had a great time it was fine but I think there's definitely been instances particularly in the first EFC uh, when people left and we didn't do so well with them didn't manage that so well um, that caused financial problems um, bad blood bad reputation you know lost some some credibility in certain circles um, with people leaving ESC I think the first EFC you know we weren't quite ready for it um, my sense is we really grow into our success we grow into you know there's a way in which we kind of have to level up you know we get a certain stage maybe it's our first job or it's then the first kind of bit of fame or the first kind of train the trainer in this case and uh, we're not actually ready for it at first I think it wasn't really until the second year that EFC was really coming together and the third year until it was any good. Um, a bit blunt to say it, but uh, yeah, maybe honest. So when we're going to our success, failures, relationship failures, you know, in terms of um, relationships in the work. I've had colleagues who no longer speak to me now because I wasn't able to maintain kind of good working relationships. Um, one particular mentor who's basically said, you know, I've betrayed him and um, I'm an awful human being. Now there's another one who loves me to bits. So I think that's, you know, sometimes it's the people involved on both sides. Um, but certainly that was a breakdown of a, a potentially a very important uh, mentoring uh, relationship for me in, in regard to my work. Um, in terms of my personal practice, um, God, do I think of it in terms of failures? Failures is a harsh word, isn't it? But I think sometimes that's that's the right one. You know, I think there was, there were, oh, there's one, an embodiment yoga workshop in the early days of doing that. I did one at a festival. I just got taken apart. There was this kind of aggressive guy there and he just really wasn't into it. And I didn't have the confidence to just be like, no, this is good. Um, yeah, I could have been more kind of clear and yang with him. Um, so you can be too soft, you can be too hard, whatever. So, and that was an absolute disaster, that little workshop. Um, yeah, so there's a few failure stories. Why am I sharing this? Well, just, you know, to encourage you to um, keep trying. I think there's something in just, just continuing to keep going and learning from one's mistakes, uh, but they certainly sucked at the time. Um, yeah, recent failures. I'm sure there's, there's plenty of those as well, but some confidentiality issues in there. So, um, yeah, some failure stories for me today.